Today, I'll be showing you how to set up a simple environment using Godot tile maps. This is pre 4.0. At 4.0, I will probably make a new tutorial. Now, the first thing you're actually going to need is some art. So, I went ahead and linked this art to the description. If you got your own art, that should work too. We're going to be doing top down today using this tile pack. So, I'm just going to start by dragging that tile pack in. I'm going to go ahead and just grab that, make sure I go ahead and turn off the filter because we're using pixel art, and then I'm going to do a new 2D scene. I'm then just going to go ahead and create a resource for a tile set. And we'll just call this outside. You double click on that, it should open the tile set editor, and then we're going to drag this image right in there. I'm going to start by setting up an auto tile map. If you don't know how to do this, I'm linking the video in the description and the ad code. For this, it looks like we're going to want to create a bit smaller, so just snap options. We're going to do 16 by 16, and then grid options. We want 16 by 16. So for this tile map, I'm going to go ahead and just draw these in. We're going to do 3 by 3 minimal, and just draw those in. And then after I have that set up, I could actually go ahead and start using that. So I'm going to do a tile map. Create. I'm going to make sure the cell size matches 16 by 16. And then I'm going to drag the outside tile set into there. And then I could just start drawing. Now you notice if it doesn't have the right stuff to match, it's just going to show this. If you wanted to change what this is, you just click on the tile set. Go in here, click on it, and go into the icon, and it defaults to the top left. I'm gonna default. I'm gonna change it to this one. So if it doesn't know what to do, it just does the plain path. Now if we erase that and we draw that, it just replaces it with plain path. And this tile set doesn't have a sideways one, so it's unsure what to do there. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually another layer. So I'm going to do the grass and the path on different layers. And when I'm doing that, I'm going to edit this. And I'm going to do a single tile this time. And I'm just going to do this one right there. Oh, let's make sure I actually selected that. Okay. So that's going to be my single tile. It's going to be the same size, single tile. Looks good. Now if we go in here, we have another tile, which is a single tile. And we don't want to have to choose between one or the other. We want to be able to just place down all the single tiles. So I'm going to do another tile map. And I'll call this one Path. And the next one will be the Grass. And just for simplicity, I'm just going to cover in a big portion. Drag that in there. So I often just click in top left bottom right, paint bucket, paint. And then it's below, so we want to drag that up. There you go. So now we have a grass and a path. I'm going to go ahead and set up a camera, make it the current, and I'm going to zoom in a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a path now, and I'm just going to have all those lead to houses, just like you saw in the opening of this tutorial. So, let's go ahead and add the houses. I'm actually going to create a new tile map and just have this one called Houses. And this one could use the same tile set. I'm just going to go ahead and go in there and I'm going to set up some new single tiles and just select the houses. Now if you notice, it looks like the house doesn't really fit in the params we have for our tiles. So I could go bigger, could go small, or I could just even turn off the grid and just select the house like that. So now I'm just going to click on here, and I have all these houses available. And it looks like I don't have a ton of control over where to place it, because my cell size is a bit too big. So I'm going to decrease that to 32 for now. See if that gives me enough precision, and I don't think so. So I'm going to go down a bit further to 16. But all these houses are a little bit offset, so something I could do is I could go change all the offset of the tiles, or I could even just go into a transform of this and just increase this by a bit. And then next, we probably want some scenery, some logs, some different stuff. 
I'm going to create some new single tiles to go ahead and add those in, and then I'm just going to create a new tile map to put that in. So I'm going to turn back on snap because these all fit in the grid pretty well. So I set up some single tiles for that. I probably won't be using the fence posts. So I'm going to put that there, that there. Let's add another one. Um, I could just add tree stumps, just like right there, or right there. I could go add a tree. And if I want to add multiple layers and different stuff like that, I could just add more tile maps and more tile maps. Um, I just want them all to have their own distinct stuff. And let's go ahead and just add some, a bit of foliage to this thing. There we go. That's pretty cool. Some signs out front. And then we could do some grass and stuff up here. And we've built a simple scene in Godot. And I'd say it looks pretty good. Now, in my next tutorial, I am actually going to cover how to make so you could have a character enter these houses. So if you're interested, be sure to check it out. Hopefully I was able to teach you something new today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.